Hello friends and welcome to Woofboxing, the channel all about the Woofbox. Today we're going to go over the patch page. So how do you get to the patch page? Well, from the sequencer, you turn the encoder all the way to the right until you reach the patch page. You can click the encoder again to go back to the sequencer and click it once more to go back to the last page you were on, which for us is the patch page. The way this works is each key that is lit is a preset, except for key 16. And to select a preset, you just press hold. There you go. Key 16 will actually revert your patch. So for example, let's say I have this patch and let's say that we're doing a little bit of sound design. And uh, I'm going to make this much more pluckier. There you go. And we'll go back to the patch page and let's say that I auditioned this and I want to try this for example. It's like, did I lose all my hard work? No, you can now press and hold key 16 to go back to your previous patch. You may be thinking, well, these sound like lead patches, all of them, and you'd be right. That is because the sound category of this track is set to lead. So if I go to the global page and press and hold key six, I can see that the sound category is set to lead. Let's set it to, let's set it to bass, okay? And key seven is the track behavior. Right now it's set to lead and we set the sound category to bass and let's not touch this one, I wanna show you something. I'm gonna go all the way back to the patch page and I'm gonna select patch number one. Now this is a bass patch, but it's playing at a much higher octave than a regular bass. Why is that? Well, it's because on the global page, number seven is set to bass, but we didn't initialize the track. So these changes haven't taken effect yet. So if I go back to the patch page and I initialize the patch by holding right and clicking the encoder until it says init patch and then pressing and holding down the encoder, there you go. Now, the settings of this track are now set to a bass patch. As you can see, I'm not getting a ton of different notes. That's because chord follow is set to root and all of the presets are gonna be bass presets. Watch your ears, this one is very loud. Now let's take a look at the context menu. You enter it by holding right and clicking the encoder like we did before to initialize the patch but you can click the encoder to go through different options. If you're connected to Woof Connect, Dump Patch will send a sysx file of that patch to whatever device you're connected to. Copy Patch is very straightforward, so that is my base patch, and I want to copy it somewhere else. Let's say on a separate track, I can hold right, click the encoder until I see Copy Patch, press and hold, wait until it says OK. Now I can switch to a different track. Let's go to, I don't know, a1, here we go. And in the patch screen, hold right, click the encoder again to enter the context menu until it says paste patch, press and hold. And now I have my patch again. So you may have noticed that in the context menu, there is no option to save. That is because as of right now, the Woofbox does not support user patches. I absolutely love that the Woofbox encourages you to create your own patches, but sometimes I really just want to start from my own uh, designs and I would love to be able to save my own patches to each category. So hopefully that comes in the future. And that is the end of this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thank you so much for being here and ciao, ciao.